Hello everybody, I figured out how to get OBS to record both the game environment and the code environment, so I figured I would do a little bit of on-screen debugging. And what I've done is I've introduced a bug into my code and I'm trying to track it down. The bug is quite simple. This ship will arbitrarily ram into my ship when I try to get it to park correctly. And the question is, why is that? So what we're going to do... I'm not sure why I got flung away so fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it directions to a location that is um, safe. And we're going to see if we can get it to slam into a safe location. So here is the unsafe command. Let me go ahead and pop that up for you. Please go backwards from the starboard connector and then go to the starboard connector. Pretty straightforward, right? So the issue is that this part works fine, and then this part creates a death dive of doom. So to show you that, let's go ahead and try to connect up. And let's just see whether or not this whether this will cause the same issue. Uh, whether it'll get a death dive against the up. So here it is going and going to the back, and you can see how it really jets forward. Okay, so it actually does a death dive in general. It's not... Okay, so all locations are currently causing a death dive. Why are you doing death dives, my friend? Let's get on board and see if we can figure out what's wrong. Hey, you need to stop. Oh. Well, that's interesting. So it... It will just death dive forever, huh? Um, so if I were to take a look at our Valkyrie code... Okay. If I look at the engines, they all got thrust override. Alright, so the thrust override didn't get reset down to zero. And that's probably a big part of the issue. And the thrust override for the backward engines... Okay, so that should now work. We should stop, right? No, we're still drifting forward. Why are we drifting forward? Are there more engines that I missed? Yeah, they all got reset back up. So, something aboard the Valkyrie is causing it to um, jack those engines up. But the worrisome thing about that to me is that 2.3 kilonewtons of force shouldn't really be enough to make the Valkyrie accelerate. Uh, because the rear engines should be offset by the four engines. Uh, they, they should counteract each other like that, see? So why is it that the rear engines are not being counteracted by the four engines? And now my instinct is, well, maybe I don't have dampening on, but I've already checked that. I do have dampening on. It just stopped working with the last update. And I have to think it's my code. I can't imagine why they would have changed it on their end. Um, but in general... Well, these are off now. Oh, well, they're off because I'm traveling someplace. Oh, here's the death dive. Goom! Yes, you've done very well. So we have to figure out what's causing the death dive, and to do that we're going to do a death dive of our own into the Valkyrie code base. Unfortunately this is a um, unarchitected code base, so it is pretty bad. Uh, it's, it's grimy and I don't like it. But I'm not going to refactor it just yet, I want to get this bug solved at the very least. So what we're looking for is a reason why our reverse engines wouldn't be firing, even though I know damn well that the real problem is that the reverse engines are on and not firing. The question in my mind is whether or not 
you know, we can check. I, I think that the problem might not be in the code because I can't imagine what I might have changed in the code to make a reverse engine that is on and not have thrust override, not do any firing. That's that's like a pretty significant flaw. I think the issue might be that the game updated and I think maybe they made the engines a little bit smarter and now if there is thrust coming from any of the back engines, like a thrust override, it's not doing the um, it's not it's not doing the other half of the equation. Uh, I think it is automatically stopping the other side from from um, from trying to stop it. Previously, if you had any sort of thrust, the front engines would automatically stop you. Now, of course, they still do that if you're piloting it like this. The question is, what happens when we put on a uh, thrust like this. I think that we're gonna have to, yeah, we have to turn off our Valkyrie. Uh, doop. So if we go and we turn all of these thrust overrides up. Yep. It's a game update. So this actually really screws me over because this game update means that I cannot rely on these to keep my speed slow. Um, previously, the thrust override would not have caused it to uh, accelerate out of control because these reverse engines would have fired to try and slow it down like this. The fact that they are no longer doing that means that I have to monitor the speed. Oh, what a pain in the ass that's going to be. Um, the reason that that's a pain in the ass is because I don't call... I don't call uh, Valkyrie with the same timing each time. Sometimes I call it every tick, and sometimes I call it every second. Uh, and I've got to distinguish between those. Why did they fix that? Oh, such a headache. Uh. Um, that's like a shit ton of work. I gotta completely redo everything about how the Valkyrie controls its own speed. Uh, thanks, update. I was wondering why none of this shit worked anymore. I was like, what did I what could I have possibly broken to make everything stop working? I didn't Thursday broke it. Pain in the ass.